Good morning. Welcome back to Cleaning Is My Therapy. My name is Jamie, and in today's video, I am cleaning and decorating for Christmas. I am so ready for Christmas. I'm warm, ready for the warm and cozy vibes and all of the colorful decorations. And I just wasn't feeling Halloween this year, so I never decorated for it. And to be honest, I am literally decorating the day before Halloween. And I am doing this editing and voiceover on Halloween. Um, I was just ready for Christmas. But I did get some new um, decor items I showed you guys last week. And I am getting them put up this week. I think that's really what kept getting me more in the mood for Christmas is because I had um, some of the new Christmas decor items that I had just bought and they've just been sitting there and I've been looking at them and one of them um, was actually just sitting in the on the kitchen counter and I was just ready. But the shoes I am wearing, they are Hey Dudes. They are um, the Elf Hey Dudes. I found them at Academy and they got little uh, bells on them. So I, I had had those shoes on all day filming and decorating and then I went and met my husband for lunch and he changed the plans on me because he wanted to go somewhere else and just sit down and eat instead of just like going through a drive through and I did not take off the Christmas shirt or the um, shoes with the bells and I am walking around the restaurant at this buffet restaurant and I'm jingling. I was getting some crazy looks because I was already wearing Christmas shirts and Christmas shoes. And those, these little cute little deers, I found those at Walmart um, a while ago. They've actually been hanging out on my fireplace mantle with my fall decor for a while. the way this looks the uh, garland above the window but I do want to try to figure out a different way of hanging that up there um so where I can still actually open my curtains I can but it's a little a pain um because sometimes they tend to fall down so I am going to try to figure out a better way of hanging those up there but also I have found some Christmas music that I am just going to play throughout um my video and stuff
So now I am getting started on the coffee bar area. And this is like the one section I really could not wait to get started on. Um, these cups I found at Home Goods, the Christmas to go coffee cups. Um, they're super cute. I do want to go ahead and pick up a couple more different ones and just keep them, um, stocked up because my husband likes to take coffee in the morning so I can just put it in a cute Christmas cup and out the door he goes. My son can take them to work. And I'm not worried about these ones getting lost because they just throw them away. Um, and that cute little coffee cup sign, I got that at Ollie's. And then the one I'm hanging up right there, I got that at Ollie's. And I'm using a lot of thumbtacks. I just don't want to put a bunch of nails in my walls. So um, I'm just using thumbtacks. And then in a little while, you'll see, I'll find something else to put right there too. But, um, it turned out so cute. I love the way it turned out. And the little hot chocolate cup sign, I found that at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it. It's so cute. coffee bar area is done for now um i do need to go and pick up some hot chocolate mix uh, marshmallows and um probably some more of these christmas to go cups um i'm gonna pick up some more of those but also want to see if I can find like a cute um Christmas runner. If not, I will make one. But this is what it looks like. Okay, I found that sign. Baby, it's cold outside. So um found that in one of my totes, so I went ahead and stuck that up there, but that is what the coffee bar area is looking like. Is it too much up on the wall around it? Y'all let me know. So this is going to be a two-part video. I didn't get done as much as I really wanted to get done. Um, I had a lot of things I had to get done <laughs> today. I had errands to run. So I didn't get everything done. But next week's video, I'll be getting more of the, like their Christmas trees put up. And then um, I have to get a big tree. Because we threw ours away because it was just done for. The dogs have chewed on the bottom of it when they were puppies. And so the bottom lights really didn't work on one side. So I would turn the tree. But then Thor liked to pee on it and mark it. So that tree was just done for. So we threw it away. But we haven't decided if we were going to do a real tree or another artificial tree. But the workout bench that's in the den, I think we're going to take that and put it on the back porch so we can put the tree up right here. Our son has not been using the weight bench anymore. He started working and he's just, he lifts a lot of, he works at a feed store, so he's always loading deer feed, cow feed, all of that good stuff. So he 
really just don't have a lot of time to work out no more. So I think I'm just going to take it and put it on the back porch. I keep saying I'm going to use it, but I never do. So it's just been sitting there collecting dust. And I'm just spraying the couch down with some linen spray that I made um, that is not going to harm my dogs. As you see, I spray it around them all the time. It is um, essential oil, witch hazel, and water. So none of that is going to harm my dogs. Because with Wanda, I really have to watch what I use. Um, I used to use a lot of the fragrance oils from Bath and Body Works, but Wanda is so sensitive to smell. It just makes her sneeze all the time. So I use nothing but essential oil. All right, I got this super cute little candy train at Home Goods, and it was $20. Just getting a little bit of dishes washed up and my cookie jars, getting them pulled out of storage. And my neighbor had just brought me over some cookies that I had ordered from her son. Um, he was doing a little fundraiser. So I decided to go ahead and make a batch of cookies just to put into our cookie jars. So now I'm just getting this batch of cookies in and by the time I got done making um, the white macadamia nut ones and then the sprinkle ones, the house smells so good. But now I'm just going to get started above this kitchen window. There is a garland with some lights I've seen. I can't remember what store I've seen them at, but I want to get them. So I'm going to go to town Friday and see if I can find the... Um, Christmas garland lights, but I'm just going to get my um, gingerbread house and cookie garland put up and 
I just love it. It is super cute. And also, I made some curtains to go into the window, and they are um, gingerbread house. It's a gingerbread house fabric. It's got snowmen, gingerbreads, and um, like the little houses and stuff on there, which is super cute. Next week, I will do a close-up shot of those curtains. But right here, I was just using a thumbtack just to kind of tack that little gingerbread house up and stuff. And that garland is more like my summer and spring garland. It does light up um, when I turn the little battery pack on. But I'm going to try to find a cute Christmas one to put right there. <music> And I'm going to be doing a lot of baking and cookies in some of my videos as well um, throughout the holidays. I love to cook and bake. I love to bake during the holidays. Plus, my father-in-law, he is a truck driver. And I was asking what, he, what him and my mother-in-law wanted for Christmas. And he has already put his order in for cookies, brownies. And, um, and like some homemade, um, candies and stuff. He just wanted a bunch of snacks for the road. And right here is my little gingerbread house, um, Christmas countdown. Y'all, I have so many of these Christmas countdowns is not funny. Um, but I just put that one up and then it had some little figurines, little trees and signs I put around it for like a little village. And I have got to get this corner over here cleaned out with all of the seasonings. And my seasoning drawer is overflowing and this little turntable is overflowing. So I have got to get all that organized because it is kind of bugging me.
and I was just kind of trying to figure out where I was going to put things. Um, the air fryer and the KitchenAid, I do want to get that off my counter. Um, but I have got to reorganize the pantry to do that. The KitchenAid will probably stay on the kitchen counter just for the holidays because I'm going to be doing a lot of baking and making breads and stuff like that. But I have got to get some of this other stuff off of my counters. I am just not a big fan of the clutter. But I'm just going to get the stove wiped down and get the counter wiped down and finish decorating this area. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And um, I will be decorating more next week as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will talk to y'all next week. Bye.